In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your YouTube thumbnails with a free website called Canva, and we're going to make them look great. Hey, Thomas Garrett's here. Thanks for tuning in. So real quick before we get into Canva, I just wanted to let you know that what we do on this channel, typically it's just on affiliate marketing, how to make money online. And the main way I do that is with click funnels. And I just wanted to get that out in the air. I am making this video. It's kind of not around affiliate marketing in a way it is though, because one of the ways you can make money with affiliate marketing is by doing YouTube and to do YouTube, you need to know how to make thumbnails. But the reason I'm making this video is, is because it was a request by someone in my Facebook group. And I told him I'd make this video. Initially, I was just gonna put it on Facebook and leave it there, but I figured I'd post it here and you know have some fun with it because I figured maybe you might wanna learn how to make a thumbnail for YouTube and start affiliate marketing. So if that's the kind of stuff you're interested in, consider going below and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that bell notification though so you get notified every time I upload. Anyways, so I had to get that out the way to let you know, just so you know I'm not like the Canva guru, but I do use it for everything in my business. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek into a couple things I'm doing on Canva. But before I do that, I'm just gonna show you how to make a thumbnail because that's what this video is about. So let's get to it. All right, welcome to my computer. So there's a few ways you gotta do a thumbnail. Like it's kind of in steps, I would say. So first you gotta take the picture and then you either keep the background or get rid of the background. And then you put it on Canva and add letters. Right, so sometimes I add an extra step in there, but I'll show you that afterwards. So the first step is taking the picture, right? So I use Camtasia and Snagit. It's a bundle you can get. I'll have that link in the description if you want it, but it's what I use to record my videos, edit my videos, and sometimes take my pictures. Sometimes I, I don't use the pictures here, but you see right here, you can make a PNG. And so like, this is just from the intro, right? And uh, so you can just take a snapshot. Like sometimes I'll just record a piece and then I'll make weird faces like and then I'll just <laughs> you know and I'll just take a picture so sometimes I open up the camera app and take one there that's totally fine but so let's say I use this picture or let's find a picture so usually I cut off the hands like I just have it be my face but it's totally up to you how you want to do it so I'll just take a PNG quick so then what I do is I share it file save it to file canva tutorial so now the second step, sometimes I remove the background, sometimes I don't, it really just depends. So for that, I use a website called Clipping Magic. I think it costs every month, I don't remember. But so what you do is you just drop the image. So here's the picture we just took. So it's, it's so easy. You just put green on the spots you wanna keep and red on the background. So sometimes you gotta like fix some things. It's not gonna be perfect. And then you can also make the brush smaller and then you can like zoom in and then you can get like these spots, you know, or like in between, right? So that's how you would get rid of the background. And then what you do is you could preview it, make sure there's like no spots missing. And it, this is, I'm not actually gonna use this or maybe I will use it. So I didn't think I would use it, but I'll download it just in case. Maybe I will use it for this thumbnail just to show. So we'll download it and then you get it right here. So then we're gonna go to Canva. Okay, so what you're gonna to want to do on Canva is you're going to want to go to custom dimensions. You're going to do 1920 by 1080. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, so there's tons of ways you can do this. So my suggestion, it's totally up to you how you want to do this. Some people do all types of different thumbnails. I think it's best to have like one layout. You know what I mean? So like have everything the same except you know, you can change the picture. Some people just use the same picture every time. That's totally up to you. I use the same picture sometimes, but that's totally up to you. But I'd keep like the layout the same. So like keep a black background on all your thumbnails and the same color text type deal. You know what I mean? Because then people know, oh, that's his video, right? So anyway, so let's just upload. So you go to uploads, you drag this, and then you can just click it super super simple so we can just make this bigger so there we go you could tell i did this pretty bad you can see by my ear but you got to remember most of the people looking at this stuff they're looking at it on mobile they're not going to really see any of that stuff so then what i do i just make mine simple you know what i mean like i take a box sometimes i just do it like this like literally sometimes i just do it like make this box go down so it's Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is just go to elements, type square, and then grab this, and then you could just do it like this. Drag down, super easy stuff. You see those little things, you just drag, and then up here is where you change the color. So mine, I just do it like this. And then for the background, so we could just move my head, grab this, and then we could change the background. So you could do like this color, right? Like I do that on some of mine, or you could just do like anything, right? Like you can change 
any colors. And then you go up here, you could type in the code or anything, right? It's super easy to customize whatever you want. I keep mine pretty basic. And then for the text, I like to use like two different colors, like for mine. So I'll go here. So I'll grab that. You can change the fonts right there. You can change the color right here. So for my green color, this is what I use. And then I'll use either like Oswald, Montserrat, or uh, Anton. Montserrat, extra bold. So I like this one. So I could do like Canva. So then you could just click here. You could copy it. Okay, and then you could do like tutorial. And then see like how long it is. I would change this to like maybe uh, Oswald and then Control B to bold it, or you could just type there, right? So you could do like that and I have like, make that a little bigger, or you could just change this to Oswald. I usually like to have them like be the same font, but you don't need to. Sometimes it's, it's nice to switch them up and have a couple different kinds, but you could do like Canva tutorial. And then you could go here and you could type in Canva logo go right here that could literally be your thumbnail like seriously you don't have to complicate this you can mess with it as much as you want but that's the basics that's how you make a simple thumbnail you have all you could type in anything here type in money money comes up you know what i mean like it's so so simple i love canva so much so the other step i would add in to like these thumbnails and one way I spice them up a little bit. So this is another free software called Gravit Design. So you could make your thumbnails here as well. I'm not gonna get into this as much, but this is somewhere where you could go 920, 1080. You don't need to have that if you're not actually making the thumbnail here. Okay, so we're gonna go to import, place image, and then it should be in our downloads. So here's the one we just did, the Canva tutorial clipped one. So that's the uh, background that's transparent now. So we're just gonna change this to uh, red real quick. So you know how people like put lines around their stuff? Most of them do it on Photoshop, but you can do it here. So it's called the path. And what you do, I zoom in, okay? And then you just go like this. And there's so many different ways to do it. Like you can, you can stretch it like that. And then you gotta hold alt and do it like that. Like it's so, it's so tedious. But, um, but there's many other ways to do it. Like you can just literally, you don't have to mess with like holding alt. You can just like do it like this, right? You can just click. You don't have to, you don't have to learn how to do the other way, the, the way to do like round things. But if you want to learn how to do it, you can totally watch tutorials or I'll show you real quick. So what you do is you put your mouse there and then you hold it. Okay. I'm holding left button and then you go like this. Okay. But where, where my mouse is now it's gonna go like that, okay? So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold it, you're gonna stretch it. Now, when you've got it to how you want it, you're gonna hold Alt, okay? And then you can move this so the direction changes. Okay, that's very important. I spent so long trying to learn this stuff and then I finally just watched a video. I'm like, what the heck am I doing, right? So then I can put it there, okay? Now you can, you can change it and then you can just, anyway, so that's not how I would do it. So I'm gonna do this real quick, I'll fast forward it, and uh, yeah. All right, so I finished what I'm gonna finish since the hands cut out. So now my face is white, what do you do? So you go over here, change the fill to transparent. Okay, so now we can change this back to, we'll just change it to gray or whatever. So you can tell right there where I was showing you how to do it, I, I completely made it look like crap, but that's just on when it's little. So when you, um, so click back over here or over here. So go to path. And then we could change the borders to like five, right? And let's change it to white. So yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so before you export this, I make this mistake so often. I actually just made it. I didn't keep it on here because it just wasted time. But you go right here, change the fill of the background to transparent. So you just click there, change it. And then you go to export, PNG. Okay, then we go back to this. I already deleted the photo. So we go right here. You can see I messed it up right there. <laughs> see, it was great background. So we go right here. And then we just make it bigger. So boom. So now it's in the way, right? So we go to position backwards, 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 backwards. There we go. That's how you do it. So that's how you make a thumbnail on Canva with ease, right? That took like no time. So one more thing to help make your thumbnail pop a little more. We did the line that helps, but we could go to adjust right here, change the saturation up. You see how it changes? 
and then change the contrast up a little bit. It just helps make it pop a little bit. So yeah, you can mess with that stuff. So that's how we do it. And this is the thumbnail I'm gonna use for this video. Okay, to download it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna name it Canva Tutorial. So then we're gonna hit Publish, Download, and then PNG. Okay, so download. And then it's right there. Super, super easy. So yeah, you can see my my last thumbnail I did on Pinterest. See, I do all my stuff in here. I do like, I make my logos, I make my featured image for Facebook. And then this is the thing I wanna show you. This is a sneak peek into my ebook. And yes, you can create an ebook on Canva. I'm serious, this stuff is crazy powerful. Look at this. So I just went up and I made like a US letter size, 8.5 inches by 11. So I think it's actually a magazine cover. So then I did this all myself. I added this stuff, I did this, like everything is done in Canva, literally. And then I, I just write everything down. This is my ebook. Then you can go up here and download it as PDF standard. And that's how you make an ebook. Look at this is a great ebook. So yeah, that's it. That's how you make a thumbnail and you can also make an ebook on Canva. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. And if you want to get this ebook for free, I give it to everyone who joins my Facebook group. It will be done by the time you see this video, I promise. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. That's all I got for today. Till next time.